As far as I know, this might be the internet's first grilled cheese sandwich cooked on a two-stroke outboard. When I saw Heiss make a grilled cheese sandwich in a boiler, it got me thinking about what other heat sources could make a grilled cheese sandwich. My idea here is to use the exhaust from a one horsepower outboard engine to cook a sandwich. The first one I made took about 15 minutes to grill. I almost dropped it in the water when it was done. The oil in the exhaust was condensing and splattering all over the boat. I couldn't help myself and had to take a bite. We'll go to shore and I'll do a proper review of the sandwich. I call this Dock Rock because it's the perfect spot to tie up to. As far as I know, this might be the internet's first grilled cheese sandwich cooked on a two-stroke outboard. And it tastes like two-stroke oil. This unit goes on to the exhaust of the two-stroke engine. It, the exhaust comes up, hits the griddle top, and exhausts out the bottom. My first attempt, I'd wrapped the whole unit with tin foil to help keep the heat in. But I think the exhaust snuck in underneath the tin foil and came back and smoked the sandwich with two stroke oil. So we're going to try this again, but this time I'm just going to make a tin foil basket and we'll set it on the griddle. Hopefully, we can get a better result. I'm going to crunch up a little bit here to use as a handle to hang on to it while we drive the boat around. This is my second attempt. 
It took 30 minutes of cruising around. I got some toastage going on here. Not bad. I don't taste any two-stroke oil. Having made a two-stroke powered grilled cheese sandwich, I packed up to go home. I'm probably not going to ever use this contraption again, but it was a lot of fun to make a video about it.